Yeah, back in the 80s, yeah, you weren't born yet. <laughs> what, what, what do you remember from the sparring between Mikey Garcia and Manny Pacquiao? Mikey, Pacquiao was in his prime when they sparred. It was actually upstairs. Barbara was just telling me this is his first time here in, this, in, in the bottom gym. What do you recall from the sparring between Mikey Garcia and Pacquiao? Being that the people kind of want to see that fight. Yeah, they're very competitive. You know, Pacquiao, was a, um, you know, at that time Pacquiao was a, a bit of a killer and doing really well with sparring. But Garcia held his own with him. It was it was very good for both fighters. I mean, nothing, nothing happened that wasn't supposed to. But um, everything, it was a good sparring session. Jorge Lawrence was sparring Pacquiao around that time as well. Yeah. Who, who was more impressive with Pacquiao at that time, being that he was in his prime? Was just as you said. Yeah, Pacquiao and Linares. Who was more impressive in that sparring session? Well, Linares was doing real well, and then it's funny because Linares did really well with me. Probably maybe dead even with Manny at one point, and then. And then uh, Six, eight months later, he came back and Pacquiao knocked him out. Lenars? And, and he never did that to Mike, anything close to that to Mike. No. And, 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 and now, with that being said, how would you see a fight between Jorge Lenars and Mike Garcia? They, they seem to be in a crash course towards each other sometime yeah. in the summer of July. That's a great fight. I mean, you've got one of the best boxers in the world. I mean, the technician. I don't think, again, he, he probably doesn't have the best chin either in the world because. Um, the one fight I had him with, I think he got knocked down in a couple of times. But the thing is, uh, and Mike Garcia is an uh, up and coming kid, good puncher. Uh, looks like a very good prospect. I wasn't a big fan of his, and uh, the, but his last fight, he uh, he showed me he can the fight. fight on Saturday? His last fight was uh, I, I changed my mind. I didn't like him before that. I thought he was just okay, but he's more than okay. And he's become a very good fighter. I mean that layoff. I don't know if it was good or bad, but you know, it didn't hurt. One, it didn't hurt him, it seems. One fight he looks great, and another he could look like he did in the DeMarco fight, where he really doesn't want to fight when things get real hard in there. Does he have mental lapses? Would you say? Mm, hard for me to say without knowing. I don't know him that well, you know. I'm sure his, his brother would know better. Who's, who's Manny Pacquiao's toughest sparring partner, would you say? Toughest sparring partner? You can name a couple. Um, Hmm. Um, I would say it would have to be after the religious change and so forth, where he has more trouble with sparring partners. And, and but when Manny Pacquiao was the Manny Pacquiao, we all like love and so forth. He would dominate everybody, but then all everybody. Well, Amir would do well for the first four rounds. He probably win the first four rounds. After the first four rounds, Manny would take over. Why was that? Because why would Matt, why would I mean, Manny was so a little bit more mature speed. and more and a little bit smarter? The Hespi calmed the good for his first four rounds, and yeah. just kind of. Yeah, Hespi was the difference in the first four rounds, and then Manny would get make, make adjustments to it, and um, you know, he knocked him down twice, yes, but there was just flash knockdowns. Nobody who, stayed down. Manny knocked him down who twice. He got up and finished every time. No, yeah. it was not like it was, it was like a knockout where he, someone's laid out and they quit. Yeah, yeah. You know, they I mean, bang to get off their ass and get up and, and finish the round. Why is he chasing that fight? Uh, probably because of that reason. Uh, because maybe um, it's someone he's familiar with. And maybe he thinks he maybe he thinks he can continue those first four rounds and keep keep it going his way. But um, at this point, maybe he can. I mean, the thing is, because, you know, one thing about Manny, he's probably not what he used to be, but his work ethic is still great, and he's in great shape and so forth, but he just doesn't have that killer instinct as much anymore, with the religion being more important to him. Um, oh, you didn't answer. Who was the toughest sparring partner after the, the, the religious change? He said no one. No, after um, the religious, he said. Oh, after that, um, uh, who's that kid from San Diego? Pretty good fighter. Who? Orozco? Black kid. Kravana kid? Black kid from San Diego. He goes in there, he went into kickboxing a little bit. Oh, um, Sergey Lipinets? No. Black kid. Lenny Sapovigny? Mm -hmm. Black kid. There's, there's a few guys up there that did boxing. In Maybe. Case. Yeah, he, um, he does a little bit of both, but he San Diego kid. He gave Manny a little bit of trouble in sparring, getting ready for the, um, I think, uh, 
was a fight. He was one of the farm partners for the Mayweather fight. Um, and then, then they, they went against well, Manny. We sent all of them home, and he was the one that made the verbal comments about Manny because we did send him all home. Oh, you guys know who yeah, he is. Yeah, I saw his interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you guys I know are, you're talking about. You'll figure it out. Uh huh. He, yeah, he was difficult, but um, you know, just um, but Manny had that, that injury and we went. Um, so that, that, that injury was like a five-year-old injury that the, the doctors looked at it and said, you know, it needs to be taken care of, and so, but uh, that's, that's part of life. Who wins, Birdo, Andre Birdo, Sean Porter? Sean Porter. How and why? He's my friend. <laughs> I'm just making him because he is. <laughs> he's, he's also smart, man. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. He actually got, Freddie's got to get to work in about 15 minutes. Okay. So Great spot. You know, um, okay, so I got, you know, if someone knocks Manny down, right? No, 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 no. You know, if somebody, get, if someone knocks Manny down, I give him a, I, if they get 100 bonus, yeah. bonus right? Man, he hurt Manny one day, right? And Who's he? Porter. Porter. Uh -huh. And I, fucking, I start reaching my pocket, you know? <laughs> I was gonna have to pay him, and then he went for he went for the kill, right? And he got caught, and man, he dropped him. Wow. So I I, I left it in my pocket. <laughs> what did he tell you after that? After the sparring? What did he tell you, Freddie? I saw you digging in that pocket. Uh, he didn't, he didn't say, but I said I told him you were very close. He was very. He hurt me, and he, 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 but he, just, he went in a little bit too soon. Yes, I'm thinking Freddy because you're going to talk about the top three fighters. Huh? Top three fighters, 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 top three fighters,